Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about product of two binomials. These are the ways of solving product of two binomials. The distributive property, FOIL method, and the box method. Now, let's try first to solve product of two binomials using distributive property. For example, we have x plus 3 times x plus 2. So first, multiply x to x plus multiply again x to 2 plus multiply 3 and x plus multiply 3 and 2. As you can see, we multiply each term in the first given to each term in another given. Now, let's simplify. It will become x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 because x times x is equal to x squared. Just copy the base and add the exponent. That's why we have x squared here. Then, x times 2 is equal to 2x as we all know that there is 1 in here. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2 and just copy x. Next is 3 times x is equal to 3x and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. As you can see, 2x and 3x are similar terms. So, we are going to add. Therefore, our final answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, let us try using FOIL method in the same given. Let's see if we come up with the same answer. So this is how we use the FOIL method. Again, we are going to use the same given which is x plus 3 times x plus 2. So we are going to multiply first the first term. So that is x times x. Multiply the outer term. That is x times 2 multiply the inner term and that is 3 times x and multiply the last term which is 3 times 2 now simplify x times x is equal to x squared again copy the base and add the exponent x times 2 is equal to 2x 3 times x is equal to 3x and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And since the outer and the inner term are similar term, we are going to add. So it will become 5x. So the final answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now let's try to use the max method. We are still using the same given. So first, let us draw the table or the box like this write the first given here and the second given here to get the value here we are going to multiply x times x so we have x squared and to fill this box we multiply x and 3 so we have 3x here to get this one, we multiply 2 and x, so we have 2x here. And to get this part, we multiply 2 and 3, so we have 6 here. As you can see, these are similar term, so we are going to add. So it will become 5x. So therefore, your final answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, let's have another example. 3x plus 6 times 2x minus 5. So, using distributive property, we multiply 3x and 2x plus 3x times negative 5 plus 6 times 2x plus 6 times negative 5. So, if we simplify, we have 6x squared minus 15x plus 12x minus 30 because 
3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. 3x times negative 5 is equal to negative 15x because they are unlike sign. 6 times 2x is equal to 12x and 6 times negative 5 is equal to negative 30. And don't forget to add the similar terms. So the final answer is 6x squared minus 3x minus 30. We subtract 15x or the negative 15x and 12x because they are unlike sign. Now using the same problem, let us solve this given using the FOIL method. So first, we are going to multiply the first term. That is 3x times 2x. Multiply the outer term. That is 3x times negative 5. Multiply the inner term. That is 6 times 2x. And multiply the last term. That is 6 and negative 5. Now simplify. 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Because 3 times 2 is equal to 6, and x times x is equal to x squared. Next is 3x times negative 5 is equal to negative 15x. And 6 times 2x is equal to 12x. And 6 times negative 5 is equal to negative 30. Now, we are going to simplify the inner and the outer term because they are similar term. Again, we are going to subtract because they are unlike sign. So, we have negative 3x. Follow the sign of the number that has a greater absolute value. So, the final answer is 6x squared minus 3x minus 30. Now, let's try to use the box method. So again, we are going to write here the first given, and here is the second given. Now, 2x times 3x is equal to 6x squared. 2x times 6 is equal to 12x. Negative 5 times 3x is equal to negative 15x. And negative 5 times 6 is equal to negative 30. Simplify this it will become negative 3x. So, the final answer is 6x squared minus 3x minus 30. Now, let's try our last example. x plus 9 times x minus 4. So, using the distributive property, let's multiply x times x plus x times negative 4 plus 9 times x plus 9 times negative 4. Now, let's simplify. x times x is equal to x squared. x times negative 4 is equal to 4x or negative 4x. 9 times x is equal to 9x. And 9 times negative 4 is equal to negative 36. Now, we are going to subtract 4x and 9x. So, the final answer is x squared plus 5x minus 36. Remember, you are going to subtract the given if they are unlike sign. Okay? Next, we use the FOIL method. So, first, multiply the first term. So, it will become x times x. Outer term, x times negative 4. Inner term, 9 times x. Last term, 9 times negative 4. Now simplify. x times x is equal to x squared. x times negative 4 is equal to negative 4x. 9 times x is equal to 9x. And 9 times negative 4 is equal to negative 36. Again, you are going to subtract this one because they are unlike signs. So that will be 5x. So the final answer is x squared plus 5x minus 36. Now, let's use the box method. So, again, write the first given and the second given here. So, x times x is equal to x squared. x times 9 is equal to 9x. 
negative 4 times x is equal to negative 4x and negative 4 times 9 is equal to negative 36 and simplify this part so it will become 5x so the final answer is x squared plus 5x minus 36 so remember whatever method you are going to use we are still going to get the same answer okay so now it's your turn solve the following using the foil distributive and box method so if you are my student please answer it in your notebook if not try to answer it and write it in the comment section next lesson square of a binomial thank you for watching Happy learning everyone!